it's like you know just the coach teach like you how you punch, kick, or move on the ground. He's a real master, you know. He know how he need push you, you know. He know every fight, every guy is different, you know. Like you can't train every guy like the same. It's not like you know like ah here like this is the train for everybody. No, he know every guy he training what he need to do, you know. He's the funniest guy in the world, you know, and uh, I always had a good time with Vanderlei back in the days. I know him since he was 13 years old. I knew when he was a, he was to be a champ one day, and then on his first fight he came to the gym and come from college in the gym and with all his stuff from school. And then I say, Vanderlei, you're gonna live with us for a while. He asked, for a while, you're gonna fight. He, How? Simple. It's another seed, a guy against tough guys. He said, no, I just came from school. I said, don't worry, just call your daddy, you want to travel with us. And then he called his daddy, he was with 14 years old, 14 years old. And then he called his daddy, I'm going to fight in another city with my team. And then we traveled together, we smiled together in the end of the fight. And then the tournament, he beat the guys. It was the fastest knockout of the night, was Vanderlei. So it is, and then he started his career inside martial arts. So everything started. When we came in the gym late at night, and they say we have a fight coming up for you, they say when? In one in 13 hours from now. <laughs> and we travel, and he made it. So. Such a good kid. I am uh, just the kind of the person that I saw in the gym since he was a kid, kid, kid. And we build his career. Está in Brazil in Brazilian tournaments, Muay Thai tournaments, Jiu Jitsu tournaments, and then he became a star in Japan and then become UFC champ. So everything starts with small steps inside the gym, it's starting small tournaments, and today is a, is a legend inside martial arts. Absolutely. Rafael, I think he deserves all the best inside his career. And we went to the Mexico with Fabricius, his last camp, and then we almost died there. We almost died because somebody forgot the, the gas from the engine in, on inside the house, and uh, we, in the middle of the night, we almost died. And we call half from Mexico, and then we explain our situation. Half of you almost died here in Mexico with the gas, you know, we got intoxicated here. He, he wants to say something nice, but he could because it's a bad situation. The phone and say, well, it's good. At the same time, it's good. You guys now are prepared. You guys prepare for war. If you guys survive, well, now you guys prepare for war. And then we laugh a lot. You know, inside the bad situation, you could see good things. Now. About me? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm. I live a simple life. I like to train my fighters. I like to stay in the gym. Uh, I'm a family man. I have two daughters here in the United States. I have a boy in Brazil. So we keep together all the time, you know, as a family. This is Rafael Cordero means. For, if you ask me what Rafael Cordero means, means I always smile in the face because I believe God is good. God put good things in our heart and uh, we have to show why. Tough guys, always tough guys. You guys like to fight. That's when you kids and they love fights. So like, all those fights, tough fights. You know, if you fight against somebody from UK, the guys gonna come 100% against you. So you have to be prepared for that. Right? We fought against a lot of Englands back in the days, and uh, it was always tough fights. So 
guys like fight, like Brazil. They have a, you know, hot blood. They love fight. Yeah. My prospect, Rafael, will, will do well. He's gonna fight very well. He's excited about this fight, you know. And uh, we're gonna put McGregor in deeper waters. Maybe uh, he never fought against somebody as a you know, same level as Rafa. The fight against Jose Aldo, unfortunately, was a quick fight. But we knew the fight, you know, come to the second, third, or fourth. We knew it. And Jose Aldo could have beat him. But unfortunately, he got knockout. But fight's fight. You want to do everything to, to make Hafa raise his arm at the end of the fight. You want to work hard for that. And we believe Hafa can beat McGregor in a bad way. We want to put him in deeper waters. Maybe it's going to be the first time he's going to ask for stop the fight. My biggest goal now is the building schools all over the world. We have already five schools in, uh, all over the world. And uh, I want to put more and more and more, not just about the, the gym, the, the business place, but about the mentality we put over here, the way we work with our fights. I always want to be, uh, when I work in my gyms all over the world, I always want to put my mentality there. So I want guys from my school, I want guys with the same mentality. I don't want to do something just to make one more school. No, I want to put that, our, the way we work here, our philosophy, the way we think about fights, the way we prevent fights, from fighters from fights, is my biggest goal in the future. So if you come to Europe, you're going to come to the UK? For sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay. I've been there a lot of times. You know, you guys always respect me a lot. And I have a lot of respect for all those guys there. And it's going to be my, my pleasure.